lots of different ways to manage your money. But this one keeps things about as simple as they can be. So first of all, a quick explanation of what the 50-30-20 system is about. To follow this system, when you get your income, you would split it three ways. A pile with 50% or half of your money. That goes towards your bills and everything you need to pay for. Next, you have a pile with 30% of your money. This is for things that you want to spend your money on. Takeaways, clothes, days out, etc. Lastly, you have 20% of your money left, and that is for savings or thinking about the future. So, for example, if you have an income of £2,000 per month, you would have £1,000 for all your needs, £600 for your wants, and £400 for your savings. The fact it's so clear cut and easy to follow is the reason that so many people like it. It's also why it doesn't work very well in a cost of living crisis. The system is so rigid and inflexible to any changes. Even in a good situation, if your income increases, you will have more money for the things that you want and to put aside. That makes sense. Under this system, you also put more towards the things you need, but your bills won't necessarily change just because you're earning more. So more income or putting in some work to cut your expenses kind of breaks the system. It is, however, a really good way to make people think about their spending. Sectioning off your spending into those three categories, needs, wants or savings, is actually a pretty good skill to gain. Now, with the cost of living rising, many people couldn't get their bills and needed payments to 50% or under. This doesn't work. So what alternatives are there to manage your money? You could use an envelope method. From the old days of physically putting money into different envelopes or jars with labels on, one for holiday, another one for rent, etc. Now we can use digital spaces within our banks to do the same thing. So make as many spaces as you want. No need to restrict yourself to just need, want and save. Then each month dish out your money into the digital envelopes as you see fit. No strict percentages of your income. This makes it more forgiving and flexible, allowing you to make adjustments on the fly. It's wonderfully open and free, but that can lead to you missing money goals or worse. You could end up with not having enough money in an important space such as rent because there are no values set to put aside each month. Another money management system is the zero-based budget. You take all your income and allocate every penny of it. This will go into the usual bills and also everything and anything you can think of. You'd make a section for car repairs, house decorating, kids after school clubs, etc. The first step in this system would be to cover all of those must pay expenses. Then you take expenses that might not come up monthly. You work out how much they cost you over the year and divide that by 12. That's how much you put aside a month. Then anything left over, you allocate as you want to. It relies on you thinking and having a space for every known upcoming expense. Once you have it done right though, no more surprise expenses. You also get to have fun putting money into places that you want with anything left over. This is the budgeting system I use. If you want to see my budget or understand exactly how I make the most of it, then check out the video over here. Leave a like if you learned anything from this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.